Hello, welcome to a new episode in the FLTK Watch series. So uh, this is just an update since the, since the last release. So uh, uh, the 0.10.0 was uh, yanked and the changes were subsumed by the 0.10.1. And so there are the same uh, breaking changes. In addition, now uh, FLTK requires Pango headers for uh, right to left and CGK Unicode support, Chinese, Japanese, Korean. So uh, if you've tried to write, uh, for example, Arabic uh, on a Linux distribution using FLTK, you would get uh, jumbled uh, letters. So for example, so this is an Alpine Linux. So another update was that uh, FLTK also runs using Mozilla libc on Alpine Linux. So for example, if we try to write something in Arabic here. Previously, this would appear jumbled up. Now this appears correctly. So uh, to get uh, FLTK uh, Rust to, to build with Alpine Linux, you need to uh, basically install the following headers. So Alpine, uh, you can run apk add pango dev font config dev etc. And you need of course the uh, Rust uh, toolchain and the dependencies here which are CMake, uh, Git, and C, uh, C++11 compiler. Uh, if you're using the bundled version you don't need a C++ compiler. Uh, but for Alpine Linux uh, basically there is no bundle uh, for the moment. So uh, some of the other changes um, so RGB data can actually be uh, manipulated, but since this is unsafe, it is added behind a, an unsafe function. Um, the image write file uh, can be passed to uh, something implementing as ref. I'm not sure why this isn't uh, appearing correctly. As ref of a std path. So you can pass, for example, a string slice, and it should work. Uh, there are, there's now a uh, surface device trait and an image surface type and a printer type as well. So for example, if we check the car, uh, the uh, editor example here, this is uh, on uh, Windows uh, using the MinGW toolchain. So so for example, if we press uh, print, it should show the uh, the print dialog, and I don't have a printer currently uh, connected to my laptop, so uh, I'll try printing to a PDF. So this is basically empty. So uh, you can also pass uh, some uh, parameters to the uh, editor using the command line. So I'll try to print this. So the code basically looks like, if you check the editor uh, example here, so it basically looks like this. Uh, there you instantiate a printer uh, struct and you begin jobs, for example, and uh, you can basically query the uh, printable uh, rectangle. Uh, you need something printable. Uh, here we're using just a uh, a widget and basically uh, just try to adjust for uh, the line count to uh, basically pr uh, break according to the line count uh, on multiple pages and at the end you just end the job <coughs> so that was basically it for the printer 
um, images and the text buffer are now uh, rough counted. There have been also some fixes. Uh, there's a widget base trait uh, for widgets uh, created on the Rust side, uh, which basically have uh, more methods than are uh, available on the FLTK side, so uh, on the C++ side. So uh, it's just a safeguard against uh, calling methods which basically don't exist on the C++ side. Um, just uh, some other fixes and there's also the uh, widget uh, measure label uh, so for example uh, if you remember from one of the previous videos um, so let's go to the hello button for example and let's uh, just okay let's remove the frame So you can see that this basically uh, just bypasses the borders of the uh, of the uh, widget. So if we, for example, let's change this to English. You can see it. You can see it here better. So, for example, to fix this, you can basically query the uh, the uh, label size now. So, for example, you can set the label first and then get the label size. So, uh, you can get the width and height. We don't basically need the height and. Uh, And then you can basically just resize or set size, whatever you need. For example, you can call re resize to also move the uh, button uh, a bit to the left to accommodate for the uh, resizing the button. So uh, here it's uh, 160. And uh, so for example, let's first just measure the, uh, the size itself. So. So it's 99 and the button is basically 80. So uh, here, for example, we can do something like uh, add about 30, for example, or 25 to the size of the button. So uh, we'll have to move it, for example, 15 if we're going to add 30. So. Uh, and here, for example, uh, 110, we'll keep the height as it is, and we'll redraw. So you can see this adjusts to the size of the, uh, of the text. And there is also a uh, similar uh, function, free function called uh, measure in the draw module uh, which works basically the same so uh, that was basically it for this video uh, I hope you enjoyed and hopefully I'll be creating more videos soon thanks for watching bye